world is facing urgent energy issues and these are questions that need to be addressed. We really need a new generation of professionals who know how to work across boundaries, how to understand different perspectives on energy. I think often in industry there are many people who haven't had the benefit of the masters that we're going to provide in Durham. They've been very much discipline specific and they've not understood the links between the disciplines. So this sort of masters programme is very, very new. It's the sort of programme I should have gone on 20 years ago to equip me to be the, Durham, the, uh, the director of Durham Energy Institute. The challenge um, of achieving a low carbon transition is is huge. The a level of carbon reduction that's required is, is transformative when you look at the targets up to 2020 and up to 2050. And the energy policy and the commercial community are beginning to realise that this is not just a techno-economic problem. It entails taking what we call a socio-technical approach to the whole subject of energy, whether you're talking about oil fields in Libya or um, energy saving in a domestic context in an urban environment in the UK or whether you're talking about being able to deliver electricity to an African village that doesn't ha at the moment have it. You know, I work with a whole range of different organisations from the World Bank and UN Habitat through to NGOs like Local Governments for Sustainability which is an international network of local authorities and energy questions are right at the top of all of their agendas so they're clearly looking for people who've got expertise in the energy field to be able to um, take a rounded view of energy problems that looks at the global level, at the urban level, understands the social dimensions but also has a kind of technical literacy. Durham's a really great place to come and study and get a whole range of experiences from those working both in the technical sciences and for those in the social sciences. There's a real understanding that energy in the future require skills not only from those from engineering and geology and the physical sciences but really a detailed understanding of what people use energy for. And we want to be the people who equip a new generation of professionals to answer those questions with new perspectives, with new solutions and with new ways of working. Like me, you study energy, you pretty quickly realise that while well, you might have before thought that it was just a technical subject for technical people and about how the energy is generated, transmitted and then consumed, you, you realise quite rapidly that it's not like that at all and actually society has a big impact on it, what people think. The DEI, as, as you know, is a fantastic group of individuals who've come together over the last few years to do something that's quite different in the UK, to work on energy and society. So this master's programme fits absolutely centrally into what we've been doing for three years. It's very ambitious, it's something that's not easy to do, and this master's programme will be a key part of it. So as a student, you couldn't do any better. Come to Durham, study in Durham, a wonderful university, one of the best in the country, and be part of this journey we're on to work on the challenges between the social and the technical elements of, of energy. Uh, the North is turning into a real hub of energy innovation. I don't know if you can see some of the wind farms just over the, the horizon there, but we've got the wind projects, there's the geothermal project in Newcastle, there's the marine bioenergy side of things. So yeah, Durham's a great city and a great place to be working.